Howdy. Today we're tying what mathematicians would call the 5-1 prime knot. It's a knot with five, count them, five crossings. For three and four crossings, there are exactly one prime knot. Up to, you know, a choice of chirality. That is, up to a choice of handedness. With five crossings, there are actually two distinct prime knots. And this one, which some naming nerds might call the sink foil, is probably the easier of the two to tie. So let's tie in. We start with the overhand knot, the trefoil, and just wrap the end one more time. And that's it. We bring the knot to standard form as usual by connecting the ends to form a loop. Now, when we dress the knot for mathematics, something wonderful happens. We get a five-pointed star. Of course, you can probably see an entire series of odd crossing knots now. Just keep wrapping the overhand again, and again, and again. Aren't knots fun? Next time, we'll look at the other knot with five crossings.